On top of that, you're essentially just rolling. That's rolling the dice. Fuck off. Yeah, cool kid. It's cool now, boy. Hey there. Yeah, that's me. Now you're probably wondering, how'd I end up here? <laughs> that's a long and funny story. You met a girl on Tinder? And she was a gold digger? What the fuck, dude? That is life. Like, you gotta swipe left. You just gotta move on. This guy's name is Slave Driver. AKA my name in the bedroom. <laughs> Let's go, boys. For the rest of your Miss Rebel life. <laughs> That's my favorite thing he's typed out of everything he's typed. Miss Rebel. <laughs> what the fuck is that, bro? Like, I don't think he could have made a more fucking weak, unsuperior, demasculating fucking version of me, dude. All right, cool, cool kid croc ain't a fucking weakling, dude. You see that? You see these fucking cool kid crocs, bro? Check this out, okay? I oh, that's above my head, man. Can you put? Can you kick? Can you do head kicks? I do a spinning one too. This mode is fucking amazing. You can abuse it so easily. I think I spent just about as much time too just trying to get this frame for the photo for a vault resident card as I did creating the character. So I managed to mess around with that for a little bit and then go and move on to playing the game. Flash forward to now and Pat's making a bunch of thumbnails putting big red X's all over her saying liar, cheater, stupid skank, gold digger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pat didn't make one of those thumbnails. I made one of them, but you get the point I'm trying to say. What are you talking about, dude? I'm nowhere near you. Yes, you are. You no, it's dead ass. It's fucking Dallas. Because if Dallas is blaming me right away for that, it's gotta be him. He's reporting the body. He's the only one near the body. I saw you do it. No, you did not because it's not me. How could it be? How could you have seen it? You're a fucking liar. Vote me off, dude. I'll vote myself off. I'll fucking show you one. You wanna lie like that to all your friends? <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Lose respect. See if I give a fuck. <laughs> when it came to looking for free games to both entertain you and give you an actual good game and experience. While getting this particular photo at this moment, my two friends were over as well as the mother of my child. <laughs> they were sitting on a couch watching me play. It didn't look like a fucking farmhouse. It looked more like a trap house if I'm gonna be honest. This is what is honestly, it's either one of my favorites or like one of my like more questionable ones. Harold's butt, like almost butt naked, stripped down. Nothing but a party hat on and a knife in his hand and he's just watching this girl sleep. <laughs> Uh, it's fucked up, I don't know, but like, you know, like, oh, only me, only me. <laughs> Alright, I don't, I don't condone, uh, watching women sleep while you're naked wearing a party hat and a knife, but, yeah, I thought it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I also just try, I try to set up a camera, that way it looked like, you know, you're a little kid walking down the stairs and, like, you look all the same mom. <laughs> I do acknowledge, um, how fucking toxic we got, like, within an hour or two into this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this I mean, makes it's... me think it's a Kyle game, but... So, for me, it's it's between David, Dallas, and Kyle. Dude, if this was a Kyle game, all of you guys would be dead. You first, Josh. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Jen wouldn't do this, or, like... Bring Jen back. I miss Jen. <laughs> this is when I got a huge fucking erection and then immediately came an unreasonable amount upon seeing the guy locked up in change with his skin looking all nice and smooth. Okay, of course, I'm fucking playing. Um, she, she had this guy Crane. Now, I had Wasteland 3 on my hit list for quite a while now. It's just, I've been so fucking busy with all that stupid life shit to even get to it. But we're rebranding it. That's why we're naming this one to Swords and Crocs. So get your Crocs, boys. Get your swords. All right, this is going to be a good one. I had fucking size 6 when I went. <laughs> and I found one of them dancing in a corpse. But I know you already heard No tits, no ass, no bitches, a nerd I, I read euthanize and I thought that was a medical term for like heal or something <laughs> it's, it's not a medical term for heal I thought it was really cool, you know, using uh, character T-Bug She's kind of like that uh, fucking wheelchair turtle from Sly Cooper <laughs> what, the, what the fuck's this guy's name? <laughs>
Okay. She's kind of like Bentley the Brains from Sly Cooper, not the fucking wheelchair turtle. <laughs> As the first enemy we end up fighting, we end up brutally, like, murdering. Horrible. Harold's never done anything like that in his life since his wife. <laughs> Let's not make a domestic abuse joke. I don't have that written down, but <laughs> He's guarding the computer because if anyone tampers with it, it could set the whole place aflames. And that he'll only leave his station if a fight breaks out. Like, what the fuck do we look like, the fun police? We are here to fucking get fucked up! Unfortunately, during this battle, we had the tragic loss of Private Parts. She was shot and killed in action. Rest in peace, Private Parts. There will never be another prostitute like you. Dude, dude, this is fucking horrible. You can choose to shit talk the police in this game, which is very funny because right after, you see some men of like foreign descent. Like, they're not even from a different nationality. They're like from One Piece or Bleach. Right away, seeing them come in, it's like, nah, let, let the police take us. When you actually noticed, he is the nicest person. He reading texts and not even saying the curse words. He literally raised miles of kids. Miles of kids, holy shit. So if Pat raises miles of kids and I live in Canada, does that mean I raise kilometers of kids? <laughs> yeah, that was a fucking dad joke if I ever said one. My God. gang members hanging out. It's a fucking mess. All right, the next game we got is a little bit Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball inspired. It's called Jerked. Not jerked, fucking chain. Trying out the new green screen and stuff is pretty fun. Can do a lot of cool shit. Look at me, guys. I'm in heaven. Bending 20 bucks. Okay, I can get like five blowjobs for that amount, Fortnite. Fuck off. Is it worth it? I, I recommend it. I give it five sleep with your step siblings out of five. Oh, then yeah, we're voting Kyle then. What the fuck? Hey, wait, I just saw us three together. Me, you, and David. And I didn't see Kyle anywhere near us though, Chris. Hey, I don't know Kyle, either. Right I don't now? know who we're Kyle, blaming where other than right me. Now? What part of the map? Me? I'm at the yes. bottom right. Bottom right. Okay, never mind then. I'm fucking voting for Kyle. Fuck you. It's not me, man. Oh, what? Fuck you! <laughs> I'm so happy sure, for you, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, you deserve that one. That was the smartest shit I've ever seen in my life. Josh is a moron. How do you walk into intellectual kill me? And I'm like, oh, Kyle just lost. Josh gonna see that. And then I it You're a fucking god, Kyle. I ended up sending our version of Harold in this game over to go attack a giant frog. This was not a good choice at all. 